<sighs> okay. So guys, we're in the back where my AC unit is. Only thing you guys are gonna need to fix this problem, you can use a drill with a socket. I'm gonna tell you the size socket you need. And we're gonna use this flathead screwdriver. If you don't know how to do it, you definitely need to watch this video. Make sure you watch to the end because you don't wanna miss any steps. We're gonna get this AC rolling ASAP. Let's go. So you wanna to go to the breaker box and cut off the breaker that says AC or anything close to AC, HVAC or whatever. Then you take a drill with an eight millimeter socket and you remove the plate cover that's covering where the capacitor is. So once we remove the plate cover, it's two screws on that side, it's gonna be two screws on the other side. So after we remove the cover, now we see the capacitor. And right now we're gonna remove the bracket that's holding the capacitor in its place. That's with a one-fourth socket. So make sure you have a one-fourth socket if you have this particular AC unit that will remove the, the screws that's holding up the bracket. As you can see, that's the screws right there. Right here is the information that you wanna make sure that your new capacitor matches up with that 45 slash five. But now we're going to remove the wires that's connecting to the capacitor. So in this case, they are color coded with the exact color code on the capacitor. But in my case, the new capacitor will not have the same color code. But I'll show you how to work around that. Now we're removing the bracket from the old capacitor, right? Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And smash that bell notification. So here's the new capacitor. As you can see, it's still in the box, but I'm gonna show you, there it goes. So the one on the right is the new one, the left is the old one. But here's a test. If you touch the old one and it rocks like that, that's the indicator that it, it is bad. It's kind of like having a bad battery and when the battery gets old and bad, it, it expands. And so that's why when I touch it on a flat surface, it'll rock. The new one doesn't, as you can see. When I touched it, it, it didn't move. As you can see, I'm matching up the, the numbers, 45, plus five in that case, 45 slash five, same thing. So make sure that you're getting the correct capacitor. This cool. So the top components, the connections are a little different. These are labeled, right? If you look at it right there, has wording. So this says Herm. You can see that it says Herm right there all right and then if you look over here to the old one it says Herm so the blue would go over here to the white the brown says fan if I look to the new one the fan would be right here so that means the brown will go to the green this right here, I won't have to use. So this, on a new one, it says CPT. I don't need to plug that into anything. So the only thing left on the old one would be the, the yellow that says, it just says the letter C on it. And that, these are, it's gonna be two wires that come plugs into this, but we're gonna, this is actually going to be in the center for the new one. The yellow wires are going Check to go in the, the center of the capacitor. So now we're going to install the new capacitor, right? So we're going to match up, not the colors, but we're going to match up the label. Make sure the label, your wires are matching up to the right label that it came out of, off of. And so once we do that, make sure also the, the yellows they stay together. So now we're gonna put the bracket back on with a one fourth of course. We're gonna use the same socket, one fourth socket. And since this capacitor was skinnier than the bracket could hold, I had to use one of those tie tie downs. 
and lock it in place and it did, it worked perfectly. So as you see, it's locked in place, it won't move. That's the, that's the end result of what a wire should be. And if you have the same capacitor, then just match it up with mine. Now we're just gonna turn the breaker back on because we're done with that. We're headed to the inside. We're gonna turn on the AC unit. And... Yeah, there we go. It's magic, it's working, it's turning on. That means the connection was done properly. Now I'm checking the, the line to make sure it's getting cold and it was. So that's a good sign. All right guys, the AC is back on. As I'm feeling the air coming out the vent, it feels cold, it feels strong. It feels like the job is completed. And that's it. That's how you fix it. Make sure you check out the links in the description below so that you can get the, the components you need to fix this problem. You show some love and smash the like, subscribe, sure and bell like, notification and to get the latest and HE content. And if you got value out this video, make sure you check out the next video.